what I'm about to say, you can mark this time because this is where it's going to be the controversial line of the thing. In 2020, if you do not have an online comic store that is somehow tied into your retail system, you ain't making it to 2022. There's just no way because there are going to be restrictions like there are now in effect until a cure is found, right? And so they may not be as draconian as they are right now, but I guarantee you we're going to have some sort of like, you know, curbside pickup and the guys that are able to sell online are going to survive. And the guys that aren't are just going to slowly wither and die. Well, I, to be honest, there's going to be, a, we're going to see a lot of natural attrition in the comic book biz, especially among some of the best shops because they're just older guys that are close to retirement age or, or are already there at retirement age. But, right? Yeah. Yeah. When I heard Joe Field say like, what, he's 60 something. Yeah. Like that, that's a dude that's going to retire in the next few years. So what's going right. to happen to, yeah, that's, that's, and, and that's what's been happening the last few years. Like, and the audience is starting to age out too. Like right. we lost a couple dudes at all new comics before I left who had like started to retire and they were just like, I don't have anywhere to keep my comics anymore. So that's, that's a problem too. Here's a good point. Pay somebody to make your website. Yeah. It's a yeah. skill. Right? You can get, a, you can get somebody to paint your house for free, but man, I don't, it's not going to make the neighborhood look good. So you know, I, I would, and yeah, so right. I'm also going to offer anybody, any retailer that wants to talk to me. Um, like my, if you go on that website, you go on Manage Comics, there is a place where you can book a meeting with me. I will gladly talk to you about your website and how to make your website. I okay. like we, we build Shopify websites. Ryan, are you ready? Wait a minute. We got a not positive comment. It's not the, it's not super negative, but he's saying, well, man, you're talking about my website. How about yours? I thought your website was really great. To tell you the truth, I thought I had a lot of info on there. I love the mapping and showing your stores and customers. But um, uh, one thing I did want to point out from your website, since uh, this person is nice enough to bring it up, um, I, I just want to share it one more time. Peter! I, Peter Fisico from All New Comics is on here. That's cool. So I, uh, I hid this before, but man, you are offering your software 100% free, not like for existing customers and for yep. new customers are Brian on March 17th, when stores started getting shut down in, in Ontario, I actually sent an email to every single one of my customers and said, guys, as of today, I am not invoicing you for your, your managed comic subscription. And I will not invoice you until things are at some kind of normal. Um, so yeah, I haven't invoiced anyone since March 17th, which was two months ago tomorrow. Okay, and you told me you haven't had a lot of uptake on this as much as you thought. I, I know for a fact that some of the other um, systems require a lot of management, a lot of hands-on data manipulation, which they charge fees yep. for and everything else. Is that how it's going to happen with me? You're going to get in there, you're going to offer me this free thing, and then and then you're going to break out the, the big I bill? I've never charged a setup fee. I just imported um, JAF Comics. I imported, I want to say, 500 customers with their pull lists into our system and didn't charge them a dime. Now my business partner keeps on telling me, if you don't start charging people for this, I'm going to kill you. But you know, I did it at night. I did it on my own time and I'm passionate about making them successful. Yeah. So if I'm I can do in stuff to make life in here so I can talk some sense into, into you. <laughs> well, I, but, like I'm not doing this to become a millionaire. I'm doing this because I love comics and I love the industry and I want this industry to succeed. And this is the way that I can make it succeed. And if it means that I have to take a small hit for a couple months, Hey, I'm Canadian. I'm getting, you know, government money for uh, wage subsidies and stuff like that. Oops. I'm going to take that, advantage of that. That's really awesome, man. I mean, and this is just another example of people just like Chuck Rosansky saw, just like he saw out of Steve Jeppy, just like you see out of every single retailer who's ever on my store. If you're smart enough to survive and make money running a comic book store, you're smart enough to make a lot more money doing almost anything else. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, just, true. that's just the God's honest truth because it's so difficult and so hard. And it is strictly the passion that keeps people involved. People like you, cause you're like, I mean, I love comics. You grew up reading comics. You want, you grew up in a comic book store like I did. You said yeah. 
1989. I started in 1986 and work my way all the way through high school in that place. And, and man, it's meaningful to me. I don't want to see those things go away. And, and I want to see the ones that are around thrive and using your software. I'm not BS. I'm not making any money. I'm not, Brian's not paying me. Anything. <laughs> we can work something out maybe. But. Yeah, I, mean, I may have to get you a check after this. But honestly, man, when I analyzed it just from a software guy's point of view, and I said, what's the one thing you could do that would make the biggest difference that would really help from the smallest shop all the way up to the biggest shop? It is almost exactly in line with what you've showed us here tonight and your vision for managed comics. And um, and and I just want to say it's super impressive. Your time and energy and everything else is absolutely worth more than the money you're going to see short term out of this um, probably, but you've got a vision, man. If enough people watching this get on board and make that system better, um, it, it, it's going to, that rising tide will lift all boats. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Hmm. It's, it's, it's for Clemp there. Dude, it's real stuff, man. It's like, it's tough to get passionate about soft comic book store software. I know, right? Man, <laughs> it's me. I'm the guy. I've been preaching this stuff since I started my store in 2000. I had online subscription management and all this stuff going back then, but I didn't have the business savvy that you got. And I didn't have the, um, I guess I didn't have the passion and dedication to stick it out. Cause I couldn't see a future for me where I was at with the model I was doing. Yeah. And it, you know, it's, it's, it, this isn't paying all my bills. This pays, if I was taking a salary for this, this would pay probably half my salary, but um, we invest the money back into the business. So I've been investing it for a couple of years. I'm expecting at some point that's going to pay off. Um, 